Learning hasn't always been about fun and games. But don't tell these students from Argyle Elementary. In fact, to them, learning is just downright exciting. Well, because I've never seen one before in my life, and I'm really excited to see it. These fifth graders, who got to come up with their own call signs, recently had the chance to learn about STEM at Starbase, a federal program housed right here at the Clay National Guard Center since 2002. And what we're doing here at Starbase is we are helping them learn a little bit more about STEM, specifically from an aerospace engineering perspective. We teach them how to fly. Uh, we teach them three-dimensional CAD engineering. We do ballistic rocketry. We do all kind of applications of what they learn in the classroom, but what we're really doing is trying to get them excited. We're trying to get them to develop a love for learning. We show them the coolness factor of science and math, like how interesting it is. And more than just being cool in the now, some of these students are playing the long game. I mean, like, it helps you when you grow up. I mean, like, when I have a work and they give me, like, a problem, I can already know because I can remember when I was in fifth grade and I can just say that. Ms. Daniels knows the benefits of the Starbase program. She's had her class on the waiting list for three years. They're learning, they're using math skills, learning science, engineering. They're learning how to fly an airplane. You're talking about these kids have never even seen or been on a plane, yet they have this kind of experience that's fabulous. Former teacher and current First Lady of Georgia, Sandra Deal, agrees and thinks this is something that will benefit the students forever. Well, I love just to see the students enjoy learning because I know that if they really catch the bug of learning, they will love it for all of their lives and it will engage them in reading as well as the sciences and the history and, and math. I mean, it just opens worlds for them. The Starbase program was an answer to a problem that the Department of Defense noticed in the 1990s. Recruits just weren't prepared for STEM careers. And they looked at several ways. What can we do short time and what can we do long term to improve this? So uh, Starbase was a program that had been invented by a teacher up in Detroit, Michigan. And they saw that and they said, this is a wonderful thing that we can adopt for the express purpose of increasing a STEM abilities level later on. Aside from classroom activities, the students are given challenges that are designed to push them. We put them in a kind of a boilerplate sort of operation where they're working within a team. It's difficult. Uh, they have to work together and they may not like the person they're working with. They have to communicate with, the, with each other. They have to cooperate with each other and work towards a common goal. I think this knowledge will give them the, the the self-confidence to try new things and to do things together. And, and I think learning to work in groups is, is really important too. After all of the important standards are covered, the kids got to do the really cool stuff. Uh, really exciting to, to be able to, these kids be able to meet these pilots and learn about this whole world they're not familiar with. That is a lot of switches. When asked what he would tell future students in the program, Ant-Man had some good advice. I mean, like, I'm going to tell them, I mean, like, be good so they can know how good you can be and, like, show them that Argyle is, like, a school that really works hard. And speaking of work, one of the other benefits of the program is the exposure that it gives to what life is like on a military base. A lot of people have this idea that the military is just guys with sunglasses running around the desert with machine guns. and by being here on this base at the Clay National Guard Center and meeting National Guard personnel, they see, okay, there's all kind of jobs they do. They offer just over 1,000 seats each year, and right now, they have well over 11,000 requests. For Cobb TV, I'm Station Manager Josh Dempsey.